Hey guys, it's me, Kimberly. Welcome back. Uh, for this week's featured makeover, we were at Salima's house in Woodbridge. In this week's project, we did a living room, dining room, which we're used to doing. However, this one had a couple of challenges. The hallway went right through the dining room space. The room isn't perfectly rectangular, as you'll see, so it gave us a little bit of extra thought. project was a living room dining room which we are used to doing. Uh, this project had a couple of challenges. The hallway went right through the dining room so that's one big problem. Another problem with these spaces typically we don't get equal space for the dining and the living area. In the dining room we chose the Carol dining table from one of our local suppliers. It's fantastic. It's actually champagne, although we have a lot of chrome in this room. We did it on purpose. We wanted to mix the champagne and chrome elements together, give it a little bit of an edge, and we chose this time a dark, smoky gray top. It also comes in clear as well. We chose 60-inch tables. We could fit six chairs comfortably. Rectangular was usually our go-to size, just would not work in this space. So I'm really happy with the way this turned out. This contemporary chair we use is extremely well priced. It has a gray linen fabric, a gray and white thread going through it. It matches perfectly with our curtains and brings together all the elements of the space. Speaking of the curtains, I want to give you a tip. This is Courtney, everybody. Courtney, say hi. Hi. <laughs> Courtney is steaming the curtains, and I want to give you a little tip here. So typically, people put their curtains up, make them go really big like a bread sheet, and then start to steam. That's the wrong way to do it. There's two ways. You can hold it like Courtney's holding it. If you see, she's holding it pleated with her fingers. And this way, it'll retain that shape. And that's what we want. We don't want them flouncing out at the bottom. We want them sitting perfectly straight. Another tip is if you're doing this all by yourself, you can put the curtains, fold them on the floor, the way you would hang them up, tie them with string at the top, the middle, and the bottom, then hang them, then steam, then let it sit for a few minutes, undo your ties, and they sit perfectly. In the adjoining room, we had a living room area, which was very slender in space. Our smallest wall on this room was actually only eight feet. So we had to do a love seat and sofa combination with extremely small profile arms so that it would fit nicely. A lot of people would use a smaller sofa where I'm sitting right now in this area. Why? Because between the two windows, they would think they would need a credenza or something to balance it off. And what I'm saying is that's not always the case. This family needed more seating. So the reason we did this extra long sofa is for that. It's still properly balanced. We did our art centered in between those two windows. It does tie in this whole space. The two areas now become one. Hey guys, thank you for tuning in this week. Big thank you to Salima and her family for letting us be in their beautiful home in Woodbridge. We had a blast being here. Big thank you to Sam and Courtney and everyone on the team who helps us out a great deal to get to this point. We are forever grateful. And stay tuned for next week's episode. It's going to be awesome. Don't forget, guys, live with things you love.